today's tutorial, we'll be going over landscapes in UEFN. I'll be covering creating a landscape, using all the different tools, roads, creating a custom material with own layers, and also importing your own height maps into UEFN, and a bunch of other smaller things. So let's get right to it. So I guess start with landscape mode. It's very simple, all right? Go up to here and select landscape. And once it loads, you're going to get a few options on the side here, and you're going to see this little green thing. Now this green thing is your landscape, all right? And in here, in new, war partition grid size. If you see those yellow, those yellow lines, that's the grid size. Material, we're going to make that so it's... I'm going to swap it to the Asteria Landscape Chapter 4. So, you know, it looks nice. Now, one thing you need to pay attention to is scale, okay? Now, scale is really important, depending on how big you want your landscape to be. So, if I increase this, you're going to notice now it's going to always be a square. You're going to notice if I get make it bigger and bigger, you know, it, it fills up more size. But you're going to notice an issue, okay? See these little squares right here? They're going to get bigger. If you see if I shrink it down a bit, it's going. the, the squares are smaller now. So these squares are very important to know how big they are because um when you're painting later this is how accurate it can be if i reset this back to normal like you see these squares are really small so you can get really accurate like in smooth landscapes but bigger equals a lot less smooth and more like jaggedy so just keep that in mind i'll show you the difference later as uh, section size is make it this big if you wanted to or you do 7 by 7 15 by 15 13 by 31 60 by 63 127 by 127 and 255 by 255 i'm gonna keep it the default size sections per content you can do one by one or two by two overall resolution is important as you can't make it bigger than 2048 by 2048 uh, otherwise um it, it doesn't work and that is total resolution so if you have two landscapes they can't be bigger than this so if you if you want to make like a giant landscape and you run into this issue uh best thing to do is size it up but for now i'm going to keep it at 808 and uh about 505 i guess so if we just click this little create button uh we can add in our landscape boom so now we have a landscape in uvfn now if you if you can notice it's a bit um What's the word? It's a bit blocky. This is like a square, really. If you don't like the way it looks, I'm going to make a new one by going to manage and then going to new. And I'm going to just make this default size. So you can see the difference uh, depending on what size you make it. So if I go into sculpt again this time, you'll notice the, the mountains are a lot smoother. They're a lot more nicer looking. We didn't make the landscape as big. So basically what you need to know is when you make a landscape, there's a trade-off of detail uh, depending on how big it is. So the bigger it is, the less detail. And the smaller it is, the more detail. Okay, so in Sculpt, there's a bunch of tools here and here's how to use them. So Sculpt is basically sculpting. So if you click, you're going to notice you're going to be able to make a lot of it. If you just drag your mouse around. Be able to draw whatever you like. You have tool strength here, which is the strength of your tool. Also brush size, which is the size of your brush. And you can then also change the brush fall off. So if you have no fall off, it's going to be very exact. So it's going to, like, it's going to look like this. If you add some fall off, uh, this is like half fall off. It's going to look like this. And if you all fall off, it's going to kind of look like this. So you can use sculpt to make a bunch of hills if you want. Wow, look at this. Now, another thing you can do is erase. And erase will basically remove anything, really. So I've erased most of my landscape if you put this on a smaller tool strength um it won't it won't do it as fast if you're really low you can like kind of chip away at it slowly another thing you do is smooth and smooth basically you see these like edges you can if you smooth it you notice now we're now smoothing it out so now it's a lot smoother so if you if you want to smooth up any places you can use this tool flatten it is it's gonna flatten anywhere depending on where you click so if i click here on the ground it's you gonna notice that it's gonna flatten down to the ground. But if I were to click up here on the side of this cliff, it's gonna flatten to the level where I click it. If that makes sense. Then ramp, basically what this can do is you can change the ramp width here and you can change the size fall off. But if you click anywhere and then you click somewhere else, you're gonna make a ramp. And you can like, with this ramp again, you can change the width of it and you can also change the size fall off. So I'm put like this and then I'm gonna press add ramp. And we look at that, we added a ramp. If I make the ramp a lot smaller and then size fall off a lot smaller. If I do this, if I make the size smaller, you're gonna notice the size is a lot smaller. Now up here in the erosion tool, what you can do is you can add a bit of erosion. Now it's a bit too big and strong. So you put it put down, let's put the brush size a bit down. What you can do with this, it's gonna notice. I'm gonna add a bit more detail to your cliffs. Now this is very customizable. You can like do pretty much really a lot of stuff with this. 
Now the thing you can use is Hydro, which is like, this basically will simulate rain and rain erosion on rocks. So you can do rain amounts, you can do sediment capacity, you can do all of this. The noise, basically what noise can do is basically add a bunch of noise. So what you can do is usually you don't want this, you know, a lot. Let's change the brush type. So if this noise is like that much, but you can also do um the shape. So you can do some pretty wacky stuff with noise. You can also use this called the pattern brush and make a pattern. Now visibility, you can actually make caves with this in a landscape if you were to just, if you just make the brush size a bit smaller and then you can just click anywhere. You're gonna notice it's gonna do a little thing and it's gonna load. And now there's a little hole in the landscape which you can walk through. You can make like a cave in here if you wanted to, which is kind of cool. This is also helpful for trimming off like edges um, if it's below an ocean and you don't need to, need to have it. Do this and you can like save a bit of a space. You can also do is you can use the mirror tool and what this mirror tool can do is it'll mirror um, this onto here so i do apply you're gonna notice now we've mirrored the entire place so now we have two mountains that are mirrored so yeah, that's some fun little tools we can use for the for the landscape now another thing you do is in paint now this is going to be landscape layer painting so if i were to use dirt you're honest now there's dirt on the ground or mud and then i can also use this layer which is going to be like a path and i can also use i can also do this which is sand this is this is the default layers inside of the fortnite uh landscape now if you're going to use your own custom landscape you need to make your own layers wow look at this there's a road I also make this little gravel texture too and i believe it has some little tiny rocks if you go in game and then you can also finally make this which is like a like a leaf like woodland you can use all these different painting layers you also change the brush size brush fall off like usual so yeah now if we go back into manage you're gonna notice there's a, there's a few options here um, what we can do now we can make a new landscape if we wanted to we can also import a landscape we can select a landscape we can add a landscape so if I, let's say if i want to add a landscape here you can click here let's say if i want to delete it's it's showing this bit because I, I selected that earlier but if i just um if i just clear component selection i can then go back to delete and i can just use the brush delete now another thing i can do is splines and what splines are basically um if i add a layer because we're going to need to add a layer this is going to be a landscape edit layer splines we're going to add this and this will be for splines so let's say if, for example if you want to make a road you can use this to make a road so now with this layer created if you hold control and push anywhere you'll see now we're making these and what this is is a landscape spline if i just press control if i just click everywhere would you look at this and right now this is not a road okay so if you go up to here if you select all and then segments it's like every single segment and now what we need is we need to go into landscape spline meshes and in spline meshes you want to plus i'm going to go to index and then we're going to search them in here road now we have a bunch of different roads you want to try and find um you want to try and find road straight so click that in and would you look at this we now have a beautiful road we're going to notice there's some uh, kind of, it's kind of annoying thing where grass goes inside the road so to fix this what we can do if we, if we go into our layer our other layer and our spine layer and then we go into paint if i make this smaller and then if i go along the road like this maybe it figures if i, if I just this paint um, underneath it like this, it's going to stop the grass from getting through. So that should fix the whole issue. And for example, this mesh can be anything really. I can change this to like a, like a cube. And now we look at that, it's a cube. I can change this to a cone and now it's a cone. Or I can change this to like a anything really. You also do this with a mud track if you wanted to. Now this is how you would make some nice little roads for, your, for a landscape you want to make. Okay, now next thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make a custom landscape material that you can use instead of this, uh, you know, this material right here. So one to do is you want to go control drawer you want to go into you tutorial content you want to right click you want to go into material and you want to make your own material and this is going to be a landscape material then we're going to go inside of it okay now the simplest way we can do this is if you want to cotton drawer if you go in the fortnite and then search up something like grass so if we bring this out here's a, here's a texture for grass now it's going to give us three different textures and this is the diffuse or the base color as you can see in here it has a little d so that means it's diffuse this one is the normal it's already assigned to the normal but you can see it also is the normal by at the end of the of here and seeing the n and then then lastly this is the specular or the s this is very simple this won't have any layers or blending or anything i'm gonna get into that later put rgb in the base color the green into metallic put red into specular b into roughness and then rgb of not the normal into normal we now have a nice little grass material so if you apply this and then if we're going back into the tutorial we can go into our landscape and our outliner and then select every single thing here except for this or the actor this line and then if 
if you go into landscape material, you can touch it here. So we can just the landscape material here. You're going to notice something. Okay, so now our landscape material is now in our landscape. And this is what it looks like. It looks a bit goofy because it's only green. There's no rocks or anything. So how do we how do we make this look nicer? And also, if you look closer, it feels like the, the tiling of the texture is really bad because it looks like it's repeating. So how do we make it so it looks a lot better? So a few ways to deal with stuff like this is if we go into our landscape material, what we can do is we can add a thing called a landscape layer coordinate right here. And what this can do, if we plug this into all of our UVs of all of our texture samples, with this, we can change the mapping scale to make it be bigger. So now as you can see, it's slightly better, but it's still not perfect. So we're gonna make it so it's probably about, I'm gonna make it 10. This is what 10 looks like. Look, it looks slightly better. It looks less repetitive, but again, there's no rocks. So to fix this, what we need to do is in our landscape material. And very quickly, I just want to say thanks to Maestro Shark for his tutorial on creating custom landscapes, because that's where I got this from. So go check his stuff out. We need to make it so this grass is, it's going to be a layer on top of something, like stone, for example. And to do this, we're going to grab more textures. Like, for example, we got a rock. Um, I think this should be good. Now with this rock, what we can do is, we'll do the exact same thing that we did up here. So we'll grab the landscape layer coordinates, bring this here. Here. we'll add this to here now the problem is okay we we only have one of these so we can't we can't put it also into here and make it work because that makes no sense what we need to do is we just need to break all these links and now we have to do something else now we're gonna have to add in a new node called set material attributes we're gonna need to add a few material attributes to this so if you just go into this drop down you're gonna see if we just add them they're gonna add them automatically i'm gonna go down to normal and then we're just gonna delete this one delete this one delete this one delete this one and this one and these are the only ones we really will need and if you haven't cut on yet these are all the same little options that are inside of here that we used we want to plug the exact same things that everywhere so this into here t into metallic r into specular p into roughness and then our normal into normal and now with this this um with this rock one down here we're, we're going to control c and v it so we can get a new one and then we're going to just put the exact same thing down here. Sorry, it's, it's ordered wrong. I got confused for a second. I'm going to put this here, this here, this here, and then our normal into normal. There we go. The next step we need is we need a new node, which is going to be here. And we're going to put these both here. We're going to switch up blend material attributes. All this will do is it's going to blend the, the grass and the stone. So in here, B would be the top color, then A would be the bottom color. Since our grass is the top, we're going to put that in B. And since the, the, the stone is the bottom, we're going to put that in a. At the next step, you want to go into contour and you want to switch up something called slope mask and you want to drag it in. Have a little alpha in here. Now, now this will, if we preview this, you're going to notice there's going to be a white and a, and a black and it's going to divide like this. And this is how you get a top layer of grass and a bottom layer of stone. Right now, it's not good because this is like 90 degrees. So the grass will be going off a cliff. So what we want to do, we want to hold one and click and then that'll give us a constant. We want to put that into fall off power. We want to set this to maybe two, three, maybe. That should be good. And now would you look at this? So slightly higher and the grass won't spawn on the edge of cliffs. Now, if you notice, if I go into this now and I preview it, you can notice now this is what our material looks like. It looks a bit goofy because we have this on a bit higher. Maybe five would be better. Yeah, sure. It'll look better in game, but this is what it looks like right now. And this is what this is doing. So if you add another constant and we put this into cheap contrast, we can just edit. We can just fiddle around with this until you like it. We'll just put this up and maybe this is a two. I'm oh, sorry, a two. It's 32. About 2.5. That'll be good. Now we have this little like this little material. It looks nice. Okay, now next up, um, if I try to put this in, uh, you're gonna see it's not gonna work because we're missing one final little thing we need to do, which is when you go into so when you right click and we do landscape layer blend and we add this in. This will blend all our layers together and then I'll be able to put it into here. So what we need to do is we make our layers. So we want to add a little layer down here. The, I'm gonna call this grass, okay? And we're gonna plug this into here. There's one more thing we need to do, and we need to grab a get material attributes node. We're just gonna do the exact same thing, but it's gonna be the opposite. So like this, uh, but then change this to normal. There we go, perfect. And then we're gonna put this into here. And then we're gonna put our thing we just got into here. So basically into here, metallic into here, speculum into here, roughness into here, and then normal into here. Okay, now next step is how do we get multiple layers for our things? So we can add a new things that we want. It's like something like mud, cove ground, sure that, that will do. And I'm gonna add this to here, like I've, I've done previously. Get a landscape layer coordinate. So I'm gonna plug this into here. And this will be a new thing we're gonna use. So next step is we just wanna copy literally everything we just made up to here. And then we're gonna paste it down here. And then this is gonna be our new layer. And with this, what we can do is actually, actually just get rid of this. And we're gonna use this same one 
in the same node over here because we're gonna put stone beneath this uh beneath this thing we're gonna put our stone into a and then we're gonna put this into b so remember b is the top and then we're gonna plug r into base color then we want to plug g into metallic r into specular b into roughness and then finally r rgb into normal and now we have this so now if i just preview this we're gonna see we now have dirt on stone and now next step is up here pretty easy don't worry we just want in our landscape layer blend we're going to add a new little layer in here and this is going to be our dirt layer and we're just going to add in this layer dirt and now we just apply it so in here um, i'm just going to just delete everything in here and then you want to do create layers from assigned materials and we click here and now we have dirt and grass and now with these what we need to do is we press the plus sign and we're going to do a weight blended layer and then we're going to go into here and we create the dirt layer info and then in here we're going to do the same thing with this and we're going to create a weight blend layer for the the grass and we're going to add into here now we have a grass and a dirt layer which are now going to work so if i do a bit of fall off there's no fall off currently you know see we can now paint using our custom our custom things we just made oh wow look at this now if this looks weird it's because you're using the wrong uh thing if you if you create a layer and then you do non-weight blended it's gonna look goofy all right so don't do that all right you want to do this there's one issue you might run into with custom landscapes if i go into if i go into sculpt and i go into visibility if i try to do a visibility for some reason i i can't so to fix this issue but you want to go into your landscape material and then you want to click here and then you want to go into blend mode and we're on the mass now we're blending into mass and now it's pretty simple what we have to do is switch up landscape and we're gonna go to the bottom here called landscape visibility mask go we'll bring it out now if we click put this into opacity mask and then we apply it we can now use visibility in our custom landscape wow and then this is the final bonus thing uh, another thing you do is if you go into conjure tutorial shared assets this is going to be all your landscape layers if you click on grass for example you can actually go into here and you can change the physical material to to something like i don't know grass and now when the player walks on it there's going to be a grass walking sound which is probably what you want so this is how you would change the sounds for the footsteps the dirt would be something like dirt and you can change the lava metal sand snow stone water wood whatever if that makes sense okay now last thing we're gonna do I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the import height map. So you can use your own custom height map on a map you want to use. So in here, uh, what we might do is, now if you don't know what a height map is, on Google, you can see a bunch of these images where there's like, it's like, it's like white and black. So something like this, okay, this would be a height map. And you can, you can use this to make a little like landscape. And now I'm just going to copy this and save this as an image. But make sure you own the rights and everything to use, to use one of these. But since I'm not going to be publishing it, it doesn't really matter. This is a sort of an example. So in our landscape, you want to go to manage, you want to click new, and then it's going to make a new landscape. And then you want to do, then you want to do import from file. And now in our height map file, you want to click on these little three dots, find the height map file on your computer, wherever that is. And now you can see you now imported a height map and now it looks pretty cool it looks pretty weird so to fix this what we can do is we'll just shrink it down and it should make it a bit more level and now oh my goodness we now have custom height map we just imported now what we can do is we can now import let's just, just let it load so now we have a landscape that's made from a height map that we imported oh my goodness look at this place this is cool so yeah that's about it i hope you enjoyed the tutorial remember to like subscribe and watch all these videos for more of my content that's about it i'll see you all around